<laughs> felt like you can't get any closer to perfect grace than what I did right now because oh my god didn't touch one hurdle felt good all the way I was even able to find another gear coming coming home after hurdle 10 so whew, it feels so amazing I worked really hard for this the name Karsten Warholm has become almost synonymous with the men's 400 meter hurdles event. His world record run at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics has been called one of the greatest Olympic races in history. But let's rewind for a bit. Who is Karsten Warholm? Karsten Warholm was born in Alsteinvik, Norway on February 28, 1996, originally a decathlon runner. In 2013, he won the Under-18 World Championships in this event and he amassed 8 gold medals at the Norwegian Youth Indoor Championships. In this same year, he was also successful in the boys' octathlon at the Under-18 World Athletics Championships in Ukraine. Since Warholm showed more potential on the track, he and his coach began focusing on the 400 meter hurdles, which later proved to be a smart move. Warholm competed in the 400 meter hurdles at the 2016 Rio Olympics, but Olympic glory would have to wait for another year as he failed to advance to the finals, placing 10th in his semi final round with a time of 48.81 seconds. At the 2017 World Championships in London, the 21-year-old Warholm shocked the world and himself by winning the 400m hurdles in 48.35 seconds. At the 2019 World Championships in Doha, Warholm became the fourth man to successfully defend his 400m hurdles title, joining the likes of Edwin Moses, Karen Clement, and Abderrahman Samba. He took home the gold medal in 47.42 seconds, edging out Rai Benjamin by 0.24 seconds. Amazingly, Warholm would remain undefeated for his entire 2019 season, and now everyone knew he's someone to keep an eye on, especially with the Olympic Games on the horizon. At the 2021 US Olympic Trials, Rai Benjamin booked his ticket to the Olympic Games with a monumental victory in the men's 400m hurdles. At the start of this race, Benjamin stayed behind his competitors, seemingly conserving his energy for the last leg of the race, and this strategy paid off. Heading into the final 200m, Benjamin powered away from the competition to take the top spot and he won by more than 8 meters. To sweeten this victory, he clocked 46.83 seconds, which was then the second fastest time in history. Benjamin's relaxed form during this race made it clear he had more fuel in the tank to possibly break the world record. This meant Kevin Young's world record of 46.78 seconds set at the 1992 Barcelona Olympic Games was finally under threat. However, five days later, someone else was about to interrupt Rai Benjamin's world record campaign. At the 2021 Bisley Games in Oslo, Norway, Karsten Warholm did the unthinkable. At these games, Warholm made his first appearance of the season in the men's 400m hurdles. Immediately after the gun went off, he quickly separated himself from the other hurdlers and took charge of the race. Warholm had a comfortable lead by 10 meters as he approached the 200 meter mark. Over the final few hurdles, it was becoming evident that his three year winning streak wouldn't be broken. Finishing with a time of 46.70 seconds, Warholm shattered Kevin Young's world record that stood for 20 nine years if you were wondering if Rai Benjamin's incredible race a few days earlier had anything to do with Warholm's world record run you didn't have to wait long for the answer Warholm did confess that he was motivated by his top tier rivals and definitely had Benjamin's performance in mind Warholm's comments shouldn't be a surprise since throughout history we've seen how great rivalry can push athletes to the edge and right into the history books. 
Coming into the Tokyo Olympics, only four men have ever run under 47 seconds in this event. Karsten Warholm, Rai Benjamin, Kevin Young and Abdurrahman Samba were the members of this elite club. It is then no secret that breaking 47 seconds is tough and Warholm would need to deliver something special to break his own world record. If he needed an extra push, he had Rai Benjamin, who was a strong contender to possibly win the gold medal, considering Warholm's 46.70 seconds and Benjamin's 46.83 seconds, this was going to be a clash of epic proportions with two extremely talented men vying to make history. The day had finally arrived for the Olympic final of the men's 400m hurdles. With millions watching around the world, the expectations were high and the atmosphere was tense. Eight men stood in their blocks, eager to know their fate, but first, they needed to meticulously conquer the hurdles in front of them, no pun intended. The race got off to a great start, with all competitors quickly getting out of their blocks. Warholm and Benjamin attacked each hurdle carefully because they knew clipping at least one hurdle could cost them the whole race and a fast time. At the top of the bend of the last 200 meters, Benjamin began to give chase and was quickly closing the gap between him and Warholm. You were probably on the edge of your seat at this very moment. I sure was. In a nail-biting, heart-racing finale, Benjamin and Warholm were now neck and neck in the final 70 meters. But Warholm was hungrier for the win, pulling away from Benjamin with a few meters left to go and our eyes could hardly believe the time flashing on the clock. Karsten Warholm completely and absolutely annihilated his previous world record with an insane time of 45.94 seconds. This was mind-blowing. Breaking 47 seconds was already deemed the legendary status, but breaking 46 seconds was once thought of as humanly impossible. This race has often been compared to Usain Bolt's 9.69 seconds in the 100 meters at the 2008 Beijing Olympics and David Rudisha's 1 minute 40.91 seconds in the 800 meters at the 2012 London Olympics. Without a shadow of doubt, Warholm had secured his place among the greats. Karsten Warholm broke his own world record by more than 76 seconds. Saying this is a major improvement on his old world record is an understatement of Warholm's accomplishment. He did this with 10 hurdles in front of him, so just imagine the damage he could do if he ran the 400 meter flat. Warholm himself ripped his suit open when he saw the incomprehensible time. Rai Benjamin also broke Warholm's previous world record of 46.70 seconds with an incredible new time of 46.17 seconds. At any of the previous Olympic Games, Benjamin would have placed first with a new world record time, which makes him a worthy opponent of Warholm. This shows that not even a world record can guarantee a gold medal. Two men breaking the world record in one race is honestly astounding. Despite having to walk away with a silver medal, Benjamin in a post-race interview said, if you would have told me that I was going to run 46.1 and lose, I would probably beat you up and tell you to get out of my room. This is the greatest race in Olympic history, it's undeniable. This race wasn't just the greatest because of Warholm's astonishing world record feat, but something else happened. There were 6 personal bests, 6 national records and 3 area records all in one race. To further highlight how remarkable this race was, the top 3 finishers would have placed ahead of Kevin Young at the 1992 Olympic Games and they now hold the top 3 spots on the all-time fastest men over the distance. We've never seen this happen in a single race and we probably never will for a very long time. Warholm's 45.94 seconds has set a new benchmark for the men's 400m hurdles and it is likely to stay longer than Young's old world record. Leave us a comment below. Do you think Karsten Warholm can break his world record again at this year's World Championships in Oregon?
making the right choices going into the season. You know, I gotta say, Rob Benjamin, 46 17, getting a silver. He deserves that gold medal as well. A lot of athletes, it's not as good as him that we get a gold medal here. And you know, just all respect to him. It's